I don't, I don't know how to start these, these streams when I like hit the button a little bit ahead of the a little bit ahead of the, the half hour. Anyways, three, two, one. Ah, gosh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. My name is Biendao. You may know me from this channel. You're here. I'm here. Unless you're not here. Do people watch these in embeds? I don't know. Anyways, today is the 16th of May, 2022. It is a wonderful day. It is not a cold day. It was very cold last Monday, but today it was like 24. Uh, but yeah, no, very, very bright and sunny. I hope you all have had a, uh, a good day and a good week. Uh, and if you haven't had a good week, well, let's change that. Let's make it a little bit better. Um, just uh, also note that... Oh my gosh. I just started hearing myself. That's that's good fun. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, I think the world's been a bit of a crazy place recently. So if you're, if you're feeling like things are a bit stacked against you or uh, you know you want you want something to, to outlet into I guess uh, look no further I'm streaming Mario Galaxy 2 for a moment anyways let me see if I can get this all started and should be ready to just dive right in here we go wow look at that what a smooth transition so anyways, on the last stream, I got another 20 stars, and, uh, we're introduced to the Comets, uh, the Comet stars, the Pranks to Comets, that's the one, and basically, yeah, got a lot of other stars, and in this stream, I got some other stuff, uh, Mailtoad was prompting me with, uh, letters, but I, I loaded the save and then, uh, didn't pick it up, so I guess no, no stars there, uh, let's donate this money as well. Tutorial four. Well, he's nearly at a thousand. So, uh, but yeah, no, I, I definitely say this uh, past week has been a little tumultuous in the news cycle and some other things. But oh, nice glasses, huh? I think they make me look like I'm good at math. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, but yeah, it's been a bit of a, a bit of a wild week. Um, but yeah, I, I've always found that, like, the best thing to do if you're, if you're a little bit spooked by- oh, yeah. Thousand. I was visiting last. We got the Freezy Flake Galaxy. Yeah, the best thing to do if you're, you know, overwhelmed by the internet is to turn off the internet. That sounds like the most obvious thing, and not turn off, like, unplug your router. Although, you can do that, I guess. But just, like, you know, take a breather. You can switch off the social medias. You can, you know, cool your communications for a bit. I always like finding a piece of music. Look at this music. Like this music right here. Uh, so yeah, so this galaxy, I like this galaxy. It's nice and homely. Lots of cool stuff about it. We've got a lovely little shack here. I guess the only thing is uh, someone will go, ah, oh, it's not realistic. Also, ah, oh, the rabbit in there. Dang, now that was where's my rabbit? I'm gonna come down like Santa Claus. I always thought Santa Claus was very bizarre. It's like, oh, down the chimney. And I'd always ask the question, what do you do if your house doesn't have a chimney? Because my house didn't have a chimney. It seems like a very British thing to have a chimney, but... Uh... You know, when you're in Australia, you don't need a smokestack very often. You can, you can go by with a gas heater. You don't need... You don't need that. Um... So anyways, we've got the fire flower. It's happened before. Uh, just, you know, you spin, you throw a fire. Anyways, there's a launch star here, so that's alright. This planet, I like. I like it a ton. These are some really weird snow sculptures. They give me the creeps. Okay. Also, I guess the, um, the guy's got a bit of a get-up. Now, here's, here's a bit of an interesting mechanic. The snowball here actually gets a little bit larger as you roll it. And this is very, very, very important. Because your goal is to 
bump the snowball. Well, it's to roll up the snowball. And I believe you want to run it into this tree. Is it the tree? Nope, not yet. I guess it's the Bowser. I guess that's what they want you to do. It kills everything, though. I don't know why I was thinking the tree. Maybe there was something to it. Uh, hello, Lord Blub. How's it going? I hope you, you've had a great, great week. And hopefully this stream makes the week a little bit better. And if it's already 100% perfect, well, it's 105% perfect. I'm not going to give it too, too much credit, but... <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought you hit it into the tree as, like, a nice little secret, but... Uh, Okay, now, it's in the corner. Yeah. Oh well. This level is nice and homely. Anyway, let's, let's, uh, do this legitimately. And also, while we're at it, let's get that one up. Ooh, ooh! Glorious. Five lives, burger and fries. You're sick after all- Ah, oh, that's a shame. Also, I guess the fire flower didn't click in my head. Uh, you come down here, this the chimp. He's just chilling here. Well, 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 you just rolled into the domain of the chimp. You've heard about my gaming skills. Oh, he's a gamer. Today I got a little challenge where I just skate and bump the enemies. Watch out for the spiked ones. Simple enough, right? So you're ready to experience this? So this is a little little mini game. You gotta score 500 points. The chimp. Everyone's favorite character in this game, I swear. Glasses like a pimp. Alright, so your goal is to just kick and spin. Uh, remember that yeah, if you shake the worm out, you go into a full like skate mode, and you're gonna need that because things aren't too too bad. But the pattern of this is actually pretty like pretty approachable, I'd say. But I mean, it's designed that way, so. Oh, my face! Uh, as long as I get the gold ones, I've kind of botched it, haven't I? I've kind of botched it. Well, I've, I've botched beating any world records, I'll say that, but at, le at least I beat the chimp. That's all that matters. That qualifies you as a shining rival. I may not like it, but I promise you can take the star. Clutch. I knew they gave a, a few golden ones near the end, but... Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm a bit rusty, we'll just say that. Still, there's a star. Wahoo! Very good stuff, sir. Uh, that is definitely the, uh, the secret star. That's not the intended route to go, but it's a nice little secret. The Chimp Skating Challenge. Uh, oh, and we continue on into another level if I choose to continue. I'm, I'm probably gonna do that before the Hungry Lord. Oh, no! I gotta do the Comet first. Sorry. Sorry. I think, given that I've now gotten most of the comments of the earlier levels, uh, I'm basically going to be doing the comments as I do the levels, which is going to be a bit of an interesting way to go about, but that's okay. Uh, this is World 3, uh, so I'm at 41 stars. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's probably going to pace itself pretty pretty okay from here on out. So spooky cosmic clone chase. The spooky chase. Uh, no, you didn't- you didn't miss a stream. You caught me last Monday, and I- I only stream Mondays, so... And if you do miss a stream, uh... You've got, uh... Twitch VODs and also, uh, end up on my YouTube. So... No worries there. Uh, so this is, uh, lots of Mana Munchers. Lots of Cosmic Mario's behind you. The Matter Munchers throw this, throw this one off. But it's a nice, it's a nice toy around with the exact same, uh, kind of level structure that was, uh... In the, in the, sorry. How do, how do I speak? How do I English? I've actually gotten, I've gotten really bad at um, formulating sentences recently, I swear. Um, so this is the bit where the, the boo, the big boo's chasing you. And my Wormite is really having a fun time. 
It's not too bad, but uh, this part gets to throw everyone off. You don't get to see where you're going exactly. There's only so many Shadow Mario, so I can't even. Or Cosmic Clone, sorry. So alas, I can't. I can't drag in too many. Yeah, it's like a mirror near me or something. Maybe. I was gonna say that reminded me. Um, if anyone had used the eye toy back in the day, <laughs> maybe one day I'll bring back the eye toy as a as a weird thing. But uh, if anyone had an eye toy, uh, I used to have um like a uh, little pictures in the background of my little rumpus room where I used to play these games. Um, and the light would always reflect off it, and so the um, the eye toy would just flip out. I would have no idea, because that's that's like a part of the wall that's just always changing. Um, and the infrared bl blasters on the, the Wii sensor bar w don't feel as bad. If it actually, technically... Yeah, yeah, the sensor bar is the one that's shining 10 infrared lights. Is it 10? Might be a little fewer. And then the Wii remote is the one detecting the lights. Um... Which is a- it, it always feels like it's slightly backwards, but that makes sense. Because it just means that the Wii Remote doesn't have a light going all the time. Oh, you can see the Wii Remote's kind of flipping out, so I think I'm just holding it a bit weird. Anyways, very important. Let's get this again. Hey, That's- that's good stuff. Oh! Oh! I'm a bit iced out. Can I get it? Can I get it? Kind of. <laughs> kind of got it. <laughs> Alright, back up to the top. And continue on. Uh, but yeah, uh... Yeah, this week's news has been... A bit dreary. But I'd say, uh, one of the biggest things is, uh... I've got, I've got a bit of a mild topic, and it might be spurred on by something that some people will find polarizing, but I want to drag it away from the, the polarizing topic. Uh, and that is, uh, if anyone has used uh, FX Twitter on uh, Discord, well basically, Discord, uh, as a chat program, you know, supports embeds. You can, you can uh, have uh, content on a website, and when you put a link to the website, uh, Discord will try and grab. A preview of it. Uh, Twitter has notoriously broken... Yeah, Twitter has notoriously broken uh, video support. It just does not like working in Discord. It attempts to work, but it doesn't. And it's kind of annoying. In comes FX Twitter, a website, and, uh, and or rather the tool is called Twitfix. Um, but in comes the tool, and it basically uses YouTube DL whenever possible, and maybe uh, another tool off the top of my head, um, to try and get... Uh, the video when you ask for it, as well as also just any other content. Um, yeah, I, I... Sometimes it has problems. Um, I'd often get the... With regular Twitter embeds, I'd usually get just the video only will show the first frame. And then if I click it, like, too many times, then it'll say, Oh, the video can't be uh, quiet right now. Whoops. Which is a bit of a shame, but... Uh, the, it works like that, but... That's okay. Uh, so... You thought, you thought we were done toying around with new mechanics. Check this out, the snowball creates a path out on the lava. How neat is that? Also, there's lava in my ice level. What does the rabbit have to say? Oh yeah, since you found me, I'll let you in on a secret. If you roll the snowballs in the snow, they get bigger. Ah yeah, so that's your other trick, is that it's going to be a little bit difficult getting to the other side, but, uh, well, especially if you do that. Um, but if you roll the snowballs in the snow, you get a little more distance out of them. Now, you don't need them. You don't need them. It's nice to need them, but you don't. Uh, and it melts lava in your ice levels a classic. Yeah, Galaxy 1 also did it, so... But the, at least with that one, it was called Freeze Flame Galaxy. The, this one, it's it's the free... Oh, it's Freezy Flake? That's like Snowflake. This is like some straight up platform. Just, just platforms, you know? Also, I guess we have both the, the fire version of these guys and the ice guys from earlier. But, again, the, the same, the same pattern of use the fire flower, kill the Bowser statue, and wouldn't you know, there's a star. 
was just hiding there. Uh, but yeah, so in comes FX Twitter, um, where basically they created a, a little small Python Flask uh, web server that effectively feeds the content when you ask for a, a Twitter thing. <laughs> yeah, very well hidden. I wouldn't have found that. Um, so yeah, uh, now the controversy comes from the owner of FX Twitter. Um, I, or I should also say, FX Twitter, if you've noticed for like quite a number of months, puts a little ad. There's a little ad. Some of that is just for the creator's coffee page. Some of that is, um, I guess causes that they like, I guess? Uh, you know, that's okay. It's, it's their side. They can do whatever they want. Um, but the controversy comes from FX Twitter has a front page that you can access, and you can actually still access now, by the way. Um, like, like, <laughs> just for note, it's got a front page that you can access, and it'll show all the latest tweets that were passed through FX Twitter. By the way, I like how this level now becomes Rock Mario level. Uh, I did not ask to buy viewers. I, I just, I'm talking about FX Twitter, Mr. Mr. Bot. Um, <laughs> please, uh, <laughs> please take your business. Uh, do, do people just, like, ask bots? This is, like, the most... Also, mount the viewers? That's a very odd one. I'm gonna take out this house. What's the rabbit even doing in there? Just say hi to him. Someone said there's a snow monster with a red nose out there. I can't go outside with that thing on the loose. Yeah. Worst part, I get the little alert saying first time viewer. Or first time chat from a viewer. So, so this is what I kind of like, is that this whole level is like now without the uh... The fire flower. It's all to do with the rock in this case. Oh my gosh, three out of three. Three out of three. Too good. Yeah, I... Yeah. They didn't even make it clickable. Like, now this is actually a, uh, yeah, star chip one. Have I actually done any star chips in this game? I don't think star chips have come up. Maybe once. Oh, no, no, they have come up once. Actually, I don't know. Three out of three for the for the one up. It's too good. A lot of coins, I'll tell you that. The trees are also no match, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, so so what FX Twitter did was yeah, all the all the tweets that went through it are publicly viewable on a latest page. Uh, on top of that, it tracks a little bit of stats, um, from what I've seen in the source code, because it's not a very big program. Um, it's just, uh, by the way, that is the gym challenge again, so don't, don't accidentally go back down there. Um, from what I've seen in the source, uh, move the rotating cylinders? I think so, yeah. Uh, what I've seen in the source is that the stats are not, like, the they are not personal user identifiable. There's nothing that is in there. I think the potential of uh, something in there to track a user would be, um, obviously you've got a timestamp um, of when the, the tweet was loaded. Uh, it's not it's not too bad, but also, oh, foggy. <laughs> you gotta watch out. Watch out for the edges. I love this area. It's just like, you know, it's, it's the last thing you expect from... Is that a dog? That's the last thing you expect from Super Mario Galaxy. Fog. But it's, uh, it's here. Hi there. The wind and snow makes everything white. That deep whoosh from here goes right through my head. Boing. And then you see that and you're like, oh. And you can take a jump. <laughs> it puts you on a nice little platform with three one-ups. It's, it's not bait. They, they legitimately planned this one out. That is a dog going off in the back. And when you go down here, also someone's going to comment on... Hello, Mr. Ray, how you doing? Someone's going to comment on the fact that I just, like, skipped that one pipe up above. Whoops. Oh, okay, I've actually skipped it. Never mind. It's probably a, a little, a little uh, bonus for the one up Oh, yeah. How does a dog? Uh, don't even try saying my name. You jump down from the platform, you reach a second bigger one with more wasps. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna try it. Rei no Sunasunu. There you go. Did I get it? I, I think the first bit, I got the first bit wrong. Be Rei no. 
or Ra I. Uh, so look at this boss. People forget that this guy exists. He's got a big red nose. How do you beat him? Spin the nose. Very hard boss. Now he's gonna come around for more. Oh. Uh. I believe. Oops. Oops. It's a little tricky actually. I don't even know why somebody's saying. Alright. What are you supposed to kind of get is him on the side like that? Now I'm angry! He doesn't even have like a little preview, he just goes. He's not that hard as well, because he, he goes so quick, which is a bit of a shame. And I guess there's coins everywhere. But, the idea is neat, although it is effectively just a boss version of the big boulders. You know, the, one, the ones with the red glowy bit in them. Uh, three hits, but I did the first hit so quick, so. Thank you for the follow, uh, I gotta do it again. Rayano Sunasunu, there you go. I gotta do it again. And the galaxy is complete. Imagine, imagine the Milky Way appearing, it's like, ah yes, galaxy complete. Easy. Also, you've noticed it's a little bit quiet, like there's fewer things coming up on the, on the ship. Anyway, here's the Rolling Masterpiece Galaxy, where someone said, let's actually just reuse mechanics from the first game. Which, <laughs> listen, if you're, if, I'm 44 stars in, so, Silver Chomp, Grudge Match. Why, yes. Wagala Galaxy. So this is a, um, yeah, a reuse mechanic from the first game. Um, in fact, they're gonna give me the whole rigmarole again. Probably because it's a bit weird if you never did play the first game. Hey! Hey! It's me, Billboard! If you want to ride on this star ball, listen up! Okay, first thing you want to do is jump onto the star ball. Hey! Alright, so you made it aboard. Now take the way around, hold it up! Use that Wii Motion Plus, except it's not using Wii Motion Plus. Think of that as your starting position. This is almost the same dialogue as what was there originally. So, same thing as before. You're on a little ball, you're pointing up, you lean the ball, in, or you lean the wheel around in some direction, but you're not pointing at the screen. You can be the kind of guy who starts pointing at the screen to start getting some star bits. Uh, but you're going to be going really forward then. Now fortunately, they actually put a crazy gravity section. Notice how the first game didn't have a crazy gravity section with the wheel? So I just start, like, oh, with the ball. Uh, step on my ball. And the faster you are, the faster the music. It's such a, it's such a nice, fun touch. Your goal is just to get the, the key. And then try and figure out how you get back. It's, a, it's, it's not really bad, it's just my fear. I always love, like, I, I wonder, I always found, I grew up with like 3D games. So I feel like my 3D, uh, like, spatial awareness is fairly above average, which we'll say. Um, but... I've always, like, wondered, um, if anyone knows, uh, was it Nintendo Capri Sun? Not like a dig at him, but, uh, I've noticed, like, on the Runaway guys, like, he's great at 2D games, but anytime there's 3D things, he does get turned around a little bit. And I actually wonder if that's, like, a, a legit trend, um, that, like, some people will have if they've not, you know, grown up accustomed to 3D stuff, and, and especially, uh, you know, you know, like, the anti-chamber, anti-anti-chamber, uh, type games where... You know, they start changing rooms when you, when you look a certain way and, and stuff like that. Like, the game gets all non-Euclidean. Joe? Well, I hope you find Joe. Oh, you gotta, you gotta rush quick for the Comet Medal. Now, here's, here's the other meme. Oh! Okay, let's go quick. There was, there was one note where I did the jump. Any chamber was weird. Any chamber is one that I'm even surprised how I beat, because it's like, you know, you've got to unlearn and then learn the game. It's an interesting one. It's definitely an interesting one. Actually, I had a discussion with a with a mate on what were what are the indie games I give a pass? Because there's a lot of indie games out there, and there's a lot of like really like average ones we'll say. Also, this is your perfect opportunity to point at the screen. Oh, did someone say a boss? It's, it's a, not really a boss, but... You gotta bully the chump. Get him out of here. Ooh. I wonder how many games I've played where, like, pushing a guy off a platform is the thing. Anyways, uh... 
I also love the aesthetic of this level where it's all like crayons and rules and and uh like paintbrushes. It's just really subtle. I think a lot of people don't even like notice. Yeah, poor dog at Chain Chomp. Yeah, no, what a fun galaxy, I like it. Even even though yes it is the same mechanic from the first game. Uh but yeah, no, that like I'm a bit critical to a lot of indie games. I feel like there's a lot where it's just like the mechanic doesn't warrant the play length, or they don't they don't develop it as well as some other games do. And then there's some indie games that like really, you know, break through. Hey, yeah, remember what I said about like doing the comet immediately? Let's do it. Oh, Oh, there you go. A leather dress of the baby lover has arrived! <laughs> oh, hope the attached item is helpful. What could the attached item be? Fifty star bits! No return address, but sure. Swearing aloud? Uh, yeah, you can swear. Don't, like, don't go too overboard, but yeah, it's okay. Uh, remember when we talked about the golden age of short indie games dedicated to a single mechanic? I find, like, a game like Braid is, like, the perfect length. And then also on top of that, like, Braid you know, doesn't sit on a mechanic for too long. It toys around with it so much. I'm okay with indie games that, you know, will chuck in a lot of levels, I guess. I don't mind that. But I do feel like there's some where, um, sometimes it's a bit copy-pasted. Uh, there's some games, like, uh, also, here we go, speedrun time. Uh, Two days later, I found out my favorite Flash games get a successful release on Friday. Oh, sick! Dude, okay, the Flash game period? Oh. So now, here's the thing, you gotta go a bit quick. You gotta remember where that, uh... Where that key was. Uh, it was down here and around... The back side, wasn't it? It was in... It's in the blue now. It was not where I remember it. Uh... The shaving cream ad is following you. Do I have ads on my stream? What? I, I swear. Okay, I thought I thought you only get a, ads on your streams if uh, you're either really famous, and I'm not really famous because I got like, two viewers right now, uh, or um, you're an affiliate. Not a full partner, but just an affiliate. Uh, and I have specifically not agreed to that because I don't 100% agree to my use of content. Um, new Twitch mechanic, yeah. T Twitch, we make money off anyone's stuff. That's, uh, that's a bit topical, but... Yeah. Um... Also, you know what I like? It's, it's, you know, it's been as, as it is speedrun right now. And then here, it's like, hang on, this is just the platform from the, from the first game. They, they just took the same planet from the first game. And not, uh, whatever was there originally, because they had all the, um... Oh, oh, double oh. Twitch ads are so... I hate... I hate Twitch ads. Like, I, I understand why they're there, but it's just like, I would prefer, and, and I use this on my YouTube, and yeah, you miss content, it's stupid. Um, I do this on my YouTube. The, the pop-up banner, side of the video, never anything that blocks the, like, you know, that plays the video later. I only do, I only do, um, like just, ads that don't stop the video. I was gonna say John trying out a video, um, he uploaded like yesterday, and like 50% of it was just a sponsor ad. Um, yeah, YouTube ads are so much better, like, yeah, yeah. The worst part about those Twitch ads, if you're getting them on this video, I am not getting any of that. Not, none of, none of that ad money is me, which, I guess is kind of expected, but still, it's just like, I don't know, you, these companies make a lot of money out of advertising, it's definitely not the amount needed to run the service. Um, alright, let's get that Hungry Luma, because there's nothing else to do, but a thousand star bits is quite a bit, so, you have to load a stream on Twitch, you gotta watch the ad again on YouTube, it remembers how long it's been since your last ad. Yeah, yeah, Twitch also gets really, really bad. I've, I've tried using ad blockers, or, or Twitch blockers. Um, I saw one that said, like, if you jump and spin, jump and spin, ooh. Uh, I saw one, um, that effectively drops the stream quality, the 360p when it detects an ad. Apparently that throws Twitch off. Um, yeah, try and find, like, a Tampa Monkey script or something. 
Uh, cause yeah, the, it gets kind of annoying. Oh, I forgot to mention, so the, so the end of the, the FX Twitter thing, so they basically, uh, have a view where you can view all the latest tweets. Uh, the creator of FX Twitter said, Toad no longer has glasses. The creator of FX Twitter said, they screen the tweets sometimes, they'll just peruse them and just report everything that they don't like, or that they find questionable. Now, uh, technically, if you knew that the tweets were, uh, you know, were logged on the screen, and you knew that the screen exists, you know, it's not, like, crazy, because you're not concerned about I, I, I think, like, it would be clear that your personal information is not stored in any way. Um, although, very, very potentially, uh, on the web server side. This, this is the one thing. So, if you put a, a link in Discord, and you put it, say, FX Twitter, FX Twitter does not know it's you, beyond maybe a timestamp. If you click on the link, you will be redirected to FX Twitter, which needs to then redirect you to Twitter. Uh, and at that point, yeah, they actually could figure out that it's you. Um, they don't, in the source code, they don't at all. I, I want to make that very clear. But, point is, people felt a little betrayed, I feel. Because it's like, oh, sometimes I post, well, most people, they'll post tweets because they, they want to share it with someone. This service actively tries to shut down the thing. You should be able to go through your old account's profile and look through the follows. Um, yeah, oh, it's a shame if you lose your last streamer, but yeah. But yeah, I, I feel like some people are, are a little bit betrayed by, you know, the service is kind of misusing their content. It's technically not private content, and it's not identifiable content. That's the very important part, uh, because otherwise you'd be getting some GDPR um, kind of stuff kicking in. But uh, no, nah, this is uh, this is nothing is identifiable, um, and yeah. But it's a bit of a betrayal of trust, and I feel like people without going through the source code will take an objection to that because they don't know what else could this person be doing because they legitimately can they have the means to log your ip your user agent when you access the service um so much stuff less identifiable than twitter trending um yeah i, I mean i guess the thing is that like twitter is a big company and obviously twitter logs you know everything that's a, the dangers of web traffic. It's just everything is so indiscriminate. By the way, I love this concept. It's of, you know, the music switching the the color of the block. Twitch. Oh, Twitch on fire. Ah, oh, darn. Um, I also like how the enemies keep uh, changing between the, the bits. Uh, but yeah, I, I start playing this a bit safe. I don't go too risky. I'm gonna do a massive jump. But it's, a, it's such a fun mechanic. I'm gonna be patient, I'm gonna be patient. So, uh, point is, that's how the controversy uh, has ended up. Now, there's a guy who's uh, now got a site uh, called VX Twitter, um, where he. Uh, you know, the, the source code to FX Twitter, TwitFix, uh, it was under a WTF uh, license, which meant uh, do what you want, basically. Um, I'm a little bit concerned because it's about to flip to the other side. Unless it's not going to flip to the other side. It's not going to flip. Okay, the music stops. It's all good. Uh, greed. Yeah, uh, so, so yeah, so VX Twitter is your alternative. Uh, people said VX Twitter could also do the same thing. Uh, but they did have a commit, I, I saw, and you can you can check it. It basically removes almost every front-end web page that the site has. It also removes specifically the lines that are trying to write stats to a, to a bit. Um, it's pretty... Oh, check this out. People also use shady VPNs. Uh, that as well, yeah. Yeah, if you use a VPN, I always get confused with VPN services, because, like... A lot, of, a lot of the advertising doesn't make sense. Race, race, racing at Wild Glide Galaxy. Don't chicken out, don't chicken out. Come on, don't wait, don't wait. Thanks, Jibber J. Uh, so, <laughs> there's a second star available at uh, at the Wild Glide Galaxy as well. I wonder what triggers that. Is it specifically 46 stars? That's a fun number. So, that's, uh, that's there, but there's obviously a little bit more to it. Um, 
<laughs> There's a little icon there, but I'm gonna do the comet first. We're gonna do the comet. Um, the Bowser levels have comets. What is the world coming to? Um, but yeah, no. If you if you use a shady VPN, obviously the VPN can log stuff. Like the problem with web connections and and really any internet connections, any network connections, is that it's all loggable. You are telling another computer about stuff. In fact, nearly everything is loggable. Like, if you install weird software, it can log weird stuff about your computer. Everyone keeps forgetting, Steam grabs your program list. It asks you, but sure. So, uh, yep, here's the boss. Was it a one hit or was it a speed one? Always send packages with TTK1. Yeah, I, you could. You could, well, the service would have to honor that as well. That, like, there's robots on TXT, there's a lot of that stuff, so... Alright, speedy boss, speedy boss. Let's stand a bit obviously so he goes in. Alright, full train, full train. Oh, now I'm angry. Yeah, <laughs> if you got TDK1, because it's just like... You've effectively... Oh, where's my cursor? Oh, it's not cursor. I want my star bits, I'm gonna need them. At least they're nice enough to cause a clock while he's uh, getting angry. Um, yeah, yeah, there, there's a lot of... There's a lot of risks you have with any kind of web stuff. Uh, but obviously, I think everyone runs with a layer of trust. Everyone runs with a bit of a layer of trust. Like, if you're a service that hasn't maliciously used people's, uh, data. Oh, I, I'm... I'm not very good at this boss, apparently. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I want the coin. I need the coin. Idiot. How do I reliably bait him the other way? There you go. No! Oh. I want, I want the bit, this boss, this boss is reasonably, like, challenging. Because he's not very, like, he, he dives into his bit. Oh, <laughs> that was a cheeky hit. Uh, he dives into himself, like, right when you feel like you want to hit him. So he gets very challenging. There's enough, um, there's enough coins out there, but the whole point of the time challenge is to provide an extra layer of, uh, pressure on you and uh, for some people yeah that is gonna be a bit of a difficult one but that's actually you know what I'll honor this boss you did it gobblegut you get a pass in my eyes it's a great fun boss uh, but yeah yeah no keep your web traffic uh, reasonably under wraps don't install weird programs uh, watch out if they're sending stuff because it's okay for a weird program to be logging stuff on your computer as long as no one else gets the logs Except it's probably not the best as well, because if someone gets your hard drive, also not fun. Uh, but yeah, uh... And, and don't, don't ruin people's trust. Now this, this was one where the service did not change. Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 have a really big number of bosses now, I think. Dude, they've, they've got so many. I think 2 has slightly more new bosses, never mind also, um, you know, we'll get into, we'll get into reusing mechanics, but... Yeah, no, Galaxy 2 goes ham with more bosses. I think it's just because uh, there's fewer Comet levels. Actually, no, sorry. There's more Comet levels. No, no, maybe there's fewer, because I don't do the um, purple Comets. Like, there's only one Comet. So, let's talk to this guy. Just try me, just try me. I'm ready anytime. I'm the best there is. Just try me. I never lose a race. Nah, quit. You're <laughs> chicken. Oka. Alright. Alright, here we go. So here we go, we get to ride, ride Fluzzard again, and this time we win, win a race. Uh, will I beat the 69 seconds of the last one? Maybe. Uh, so just remember, you're still pointing the screen as always, but uh, your main goal is to kind of point as downward as you can. If you're pointing at kind of like this angle, you're going to be moving forward 
you know, the fastest you possibly can. But you can't lean down too long because you don't want to hit the ground. I think you actually immediately die. Or you might not immediately die, but you definitely don't do well in time. Which in this context is actually kind of bad. You don't have those speed boosts as well, but as long as you're taking it at a good angle, it's pretty good, so. So yeah, don't ruin people's trust. Uh, don't actually log stuff that, like, legit, because that's, um, it's like a real big GDPR issue. I, I, I can guarantee, I can guarantee when you're working, when you're working Enterprise, suddenly it's like, oh boy, oh boy, data is a nightmare when you log too much of it. Oh, it, there's a, there's a, just short of 61. I lost, lost. I'm no leader. You be a new leader. New leader, new leader gets a star. I will say this star is basically the same as the last one, so. Listen, Galaxy 2, you, you're almost perfect. You're almost perfect. Like, I, I, I would like if there was some twist to it, but no, it ended up being the same level, but without the, the bit there. So. Oh, look at that! I'm on the underside of the ship. Galaxy complete. I see you brought us back a really loud bird this time. Ha <laughs> ha. You hear the tranquil song of the stars? No? Well, it's tough to hear over that yapping jibber jay. How about going over there for <laughs> and trying to quiet it down for a bit? Ah, good fun. Ah, so. uh, but yeah. Yeah, no, I've got a thing against, like, VPN services just for a regular person. I feel like most people don't particularly need a VPN. Let's see what he says. Listen up, listen up, there's a trick to going fast with Flutter. Point down to dive, keep diving and go for- wow. You need to beat the star, you're done with Flutter. Almost, I know. Well, that is everything. Oh, there's like one comet, there's two comets that are lingering here. I like how there's now a crown on the world itself. So, world one is hard done. There's nothing left. Uh, also, I feel like that's it for everything here. Um, so the boundary was 27 stars. I now have 47. I've got a couple more stars. There's not a gold crown. That is true. That is true. Oh, 49. Jeez. Bowser Jr.'s fierce and fleet. Dude, I am afraid of this fleet. Fearsome. Bowser Jr.'s Mighty Mega Hammer. Mega Hammer is a fun word because it has Igaha in it. This is a fun boss. I enjoyed this boss. But it's not just a boss. It is a whole level as well. So another Bowser Jr. level. This time takes place pretty much... Uh, someone's going to... Let's find me on this one. Uh, it takes place on a Mega Man level. We got Bullet Bills. You can, uh... The Bullet Bills are just firing. Okay, I thought you could attract the Bullet Bills. You can eat the Bullet Bills, and you can spit them out. That is something I have not done yet. It is a new mechanic. Add it to the list. And you also got these guys, which are fun. You can eat them, but you can't eat them while they're doing this. Oh, you can. No, you can't. Don't do it. Mario actually died then, by the way. Did you see his skeleton? Physical anatomy of Mario. Flip the switch, and... This is gonna be a, a fun one. You got dudes shooting more bullet bills at you. The first one is okay, but... Once you got two... And this thing in the way... It starts getting a little bit of a doozy. Three! Three's a crowd. That was a surprisingly lucky dodge. Whoop. I didn't even- I didn't even shoot the bullet bell, it just... He just went for it. Sure. Get it. I also- I love this bit. There's- like, there's, there's a lot of weird black holes in this game. This one's one of my favorites, because, like, the black hole is just a massive thing that this platform is going into. You will inevitably fall into that black hole if you don't hit the launch star, or the sling star. <laughs> Kinda hilarious. Um, anyways, jump over here, kick this guy on his back, you gotta at least kick him, uh, and then 
What we need is we need a little bullet bill. There's so many. I thought I saw something coming there. We're gonna need one. Hit that. We gotta hit a button while we're at it. Let's see, do I remember? Th Maybe it's easier on the PAL version. Also, I, I love these portals. Ah. They just pull up in front of it. This is a bit worrying. Alright, get that. Let's go get that metal. Very important. I like this as well, the barriers. What did I get hit by? I was hearing the uh, the hammer, bro. Ah, uh, maybe I shot the floor. I I'm really not sure about that one, actually. I shot the floor. I can't believe it. Shouldn't have shot the floor. That's a bit weird. <laughs> like I I shot the floor. Like it makes sense given the angle. That's kind of weird. I gotta do the auto scroll again. I mean, it's just there. You can see it. Is there ever a time where like things like hard pop out? I don't think they do. There's a hundred percent some LOD swapping going on. But, uh, given the resolution of the Wii, it's surprisingly unnoticeable. Now that was a pro hit. Look, it even goes downhill there. Maybe that's what was throwing me off. All right, I'm jumping. I jumped. Are you happy? I want to see if I can hit the Bowser statue there. There you go. Good stuff. Luma Lee, Luma Bop, I will skip the Luma Shop. Bum bum. Dude, where does he get this nice comfy flying ball with absolutely zero controls on the inside? It goes where he pleases. Don't you know when to quit? I'm gonna enjoy taking you out from the cozy confines of my robot cock pit. So you want a grand star, do you? Well, come on, tough guy. Let's see if you're any match for Mega Hammer. Yeah, oh, Yoshi's breed like rabbits. You know, they're a bit of a pest. Uh, I, I'm immature enough to have to point out the word cockpit every single time. So this boss is Mega Hammer. He shoots uh, bullet bills and a big Banzai Bill if you want. The Banzai Bill starts breaking platforms. Oh, so very fun shot right there. You gotta shoot him in the breast. He has two, two nice big breaths. They take uh, two hits each. Oh, that was a good shot. I am a naughty boy, apparently. So now I'm angry! I'm gonna keep loose firing these bullet bills. Uh, now, you may be wondering, what else is there left to hit? Well, if you hit the sling star, he's got a couple more, or, or, or one more spot on his back. Dang it. He's got a very, uh,. Sonic Adventure vibe from this. Big robot boss fight. Feels very, uh, very Sonic Adventure. But he, uh, he takes six hits and then he's, uh. Now I'm angry! It's actually a bit of a longer fight when you think about it. So now, he's really mad. The hammers don't really come to play too much, but. Now they do. So he exposes his head. Also, I'm, I'm glad I saved that bullet bill. I, w I wish that worked. There you go. Hit him in the head twice. And he's going down. It's a little bit of an easier fight. He, he, he can't do... Oh, very dead. Very dead. He can't do too much to attack you, but... He certainly makes for a good show. It's all the way up there. How am I gonna get it? That's the sling star. Which would have effectively launched you into the black hole, I think. Look at that little Yoshi on the grand star! Not even Luigi's gotten a grand star yet. Yoshi's already done it.
Here we go. What does the Grand Star show us? Big explosion. That, that'd be a bit of a shock if you're floating up there. If you're floating, would you feel the vibrations or would you not? Because it's just the, you know, the absence in space. Like something would explode, but because you're not attached to it in any way. Whereas at least on Earth, it's like... You know, it's great work, pal. That's your third Grand Star. Alright, we're ready to fly through time and space. That monster is still out there somewhere. So let's ship out to the next world, Captain. Uh, but, but yeah, yeah, like when you're on Earth, it's like... You know, when there's an explosion, you feel the shockwave of, of air and the ground vibrations. You're gonna feel all that. If you're jumping in a vacuum, I think you might not feel it. Maybe you'll feel the actual part of this one you got there. And obviously the sound as well. Would you hear an explosion in a vacuum? No. No, you wouldn't. You'd also be a little dead if you're in a vacuum without your own, like, bubble. Although, I guess if you're in a floating bubble, so you're fine. We sure come a long way thanks to your efforts. Let's keep this good thing going, am I right? The helm is yours, Captain. So, yet another world. This is World 4. Um, they didn't magically show a comet while I was not looking, right? Ah. So, World 4 starts off with a hungry Luma that takes way too many star bits, so we'll come back to him later. But now is uh, everyone's favorite galaxy to pick on. The super massive galaxy. Actually, second favorite. Third favorite. Third favorite galaxy. Paper. Huge trouble with big wigglers. The super massive galaxy is exactly as it sounds. It is, uh, someone's gonna. Oh, which world was it? Was it World 6 in Super Mario Bros. 3? Yes. It's got the music from Toy Time Galaxy that was also in the f fourth world of Super Mario Galaxy 1. It's a bit of unfortunate yeah. timing. It, it is kind of the same music. Massive Wigglers. Uh, so Luigi's here. I'm going to play as Luigi. Because he's here. I love his giant Luma. You say hi to him. He goes, We grow him big here. Watch out. <laughs> this is bold text. Um, this level highly encourages the use of long jumps. You'll see the coins kind of laid out like that. Um, there's a, there's a lot of that going on. Uh, just remember as well, you can still you can still hit these guys. It's like a bit of a bounce. Was there only one massive Goomba in the first game? Like right on the first level? This coin is actually a bit of a platform as well. And you get these kind of weird platforms here where the uh, giant piranha plant will kill me. And uh, this one where you jump out. Yeah, yeah, having Luigi is definitely very nice to have. Whoa. Run fast! And I skipped the rest of the tutorial, but sure. Now this one is a bit of a terrifying moment. The trick is to not do it twice and instead just jump up to the top. I want the life, man. But it's a it's a really fun galaxy. And I have a bit of a life. Everything's bigger, including the uh world star. We have a nice little 2D planet, but there's poopers everywhere. You can jump. You can't get them though, they're too strong. Not even Luigi can take them out. That's not saying much. But you got a little drill bit, and if you drill down through the center, you'll topple the Koopa. Do it again, you'll topple the Koopa. Do it again, you'll topple the- Ah, oh, I missed him. I missed him. It's a nice little fun use of the, the power-up. And also, it's good fun with the background of, like, where you were. Yeah. Through the pipe, make sure you got all your star bits, because you're gonna need them, apparently. I like how these little... little star chips, I don't know what's going on there. What do you have to say? Your spin will work even on these big guys. Try it! That's cool. Even the flying ones. Oh, he's going, he's gone off! Oh, no, poor guy. Poor guy. I love, I love all these big platforms. That camera movement could have not been there. Oh boy. <laughs> ah, I hit the stick slightly just at the end. Just at the end. Oh no. That was not, not very wise. I just like, I tilted the stick just ever so slightly at the end. 
you know what's the nice thing? I only picked up like 10 coins before that, so not a, not as massive a loss. There you go. Ah, oh, no! You only get enough time to really do it four times. Done. Planet. Just like Super Mario Brothers, they come up while you're on the pipe. And yes, I know it's a question mark, but it's not. It's, it's just a platform. Don't look too much into it. Boing. Quit Sudoku. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. If you do miss coins, you could do that. Actually, I did that at the end of uh, Super Mario Galaxy 1, didn't I? Why go on when you can you can go on this wonderful flower planet that's got not really much to do with the uh, rest of the level, but it's definitely a fun thing. A lot of coins as well. Seriously, that's a lot of coins. And yeah, reveal all the flowers. Well, the Bill Beanstalk comes out. Point out the star. So what's in the box? More star bits, so let's see. Whoosh! As a little fun thing as well, I like how the later levels will throw more coins and star bits at you. To kind of pace with the fact that, yeah, this Hungry Loon is asking for 1200. They were a little stingy in the first game. They're immediately stingy, but they grant you so many star bits. Because that level, like, you know, I didn't even get to the very, very end. That was, the, that was a little hidden star. A ghost has appeared in Supermassive Galaxy. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll actually find the ghost. Who knows? The bowling level was in two. Uh, I think it actually might have been in one. Uh, endless Sabbaths. Hey. Oh, sorry, sorry. If you're referring to which Super Mario Galaxy, uh, definitely two, because bowling. Um, Actually, I don't know the endless starbit grinding. I used to always do the, um, the, one of the fling levels in Galaxy 1. I'd just, like, enter it. Like, or rather, I'd, I'd go into it, and then there's a one-up somewhere earlier on, and you can get, like, 50 star bits in, like, no time. Um, yeah, starbits say, even if you die, the coins don't, and the coins are much more detrimental. But it seems that all the coin ones, all the coin hungry loomers, um, like they're within a level, so it's on you to just kind of keep your coins as you go through the level. Let's get this prankster comet out of the way. So this is a lava less speed run. A couple hundred bits in like two minutes or something. Oh jeez, yeah. Again, like the first game, you don't really need too many, and I actually think it's a little bit nicer in this one because I don't think you do really have to sit and grind. I think there's enough comets and levels. That you don't need to grind for the remaining ones just to be able to do the purple comets. And we got this wonderful dramatic music with the time limit levels. This one's a fun one because it's like, where's the where's the clock going away? I think it's only just the one at the top. Don't you need 999 for it? You might actually. It's been a while, so but. <laughs> Let's double check that one, but I think you do, so... Wahoo, he says as he flies through space. That's sustained cord! That's, that's us too, I swear! It's such a, such a fun dramatic note right there. You know, this gets a space vibe purely by the fact that the string orchestra is still accompanied by... ...by a piano. Uh, oh yeah, I get to not do the jump now! Woo! You don't quite get all the way, but it's, it's good enough. That's a little awkward. Sorry, my broski. Okay, no, I'm good, I'm good. Never saw it coming. Alright, now we gotta do this quick. I forgot if you need to do the boss of Bowser. Because it's still a little more level. It's mostly the same level, but you're doing the Crash Bandicoot clock, so... You play it a little differently than you do otherwise. But 
don't know if the toad's down there, and I'm a bit too afraid to look. Mana munchers. Oh, no, mana muncher. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. Oh, I forgot. I've got my Mario World blocks right here. Right on top of Donkey Kong Barrel. This is a real sprawling like bit of lava as well that you'll never see because you go to the other side of the planet. Like there's a, I, I still, I'm gonna really admire this game even though there's a lot of gamey platforms to it. I think there's also a lot of beauty in just kind of this like real fun direct approach. Also, I guess it looks like there is no star, there is no Bowser. He's not even here, but they did put a life up here. How gutsy. How gutsy. That was a good jump. I wonder if I'm the first person in existence to find that, that one up. 100%. No one has ever found that before. Just me. Well, that looks like a fun, fun star. So. And I got some coins for my troubles. Give them your best. Do your best. So, there we go. Again, no more no comets. They're going a bit chill on the comets. Okay, well, let's uh, let's actually get that first star. In the super massive galaxy. But yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't I don't really trust VPNs. The other weird part about VPNs, I just I want to mention. How many times in those ads, like anytime you see like a sponsored bit, um, the ad will always like say, oh, you can use a VPN to pretend that you're in another country and get around geo blockers, you, you know, for yeah. Netflix. Like this show is only available on Netflix Australia. And I'm just like, what? Like, that's a, that's a kind of weird use case. I don't think it's illegal necessarily, but I feel like these companies are probably going to be a bit aware that people are using this stuff, like, in a different country all the time. I mean, I mean Netflix would have to know, because of course they're logging people's IPs. So I made a video recently about how the ads changed to be a lot less recently. Yeah, Tom Scott, like, Tom Scott, absolute legend. And yeah, he's 100% he's right where, um, like, there are a lot of misleading stuff. Um, I actually, I pulled up like the most recent like Angry Video Game Nerd video because he does um, ExpressVPN uh, and like yeah, uh, some of the stuff he says it's like it's it's very layman and I don't understand it's the talking point but it's just like it's it's kind of bizarre to me. I'd say you need a VPN definitely if you're enterprise because you want to be able to hide you know people's IP addresses from the outside world. That's 100% great. Uh, you as a, a regular user, like, I guess it's alright, especially if you do want an anonymized IP and you don't want to go through your your um, ISP every time to change it, which, at least my ISP, I'm, I'm with Aussie Broadband, and I, I can guarantee you can ask them to change your IP and they'll probably do it. Because um, I remember being under a NAT earlier, where, um, or a shared NAT, where multiple people had the same outgoing public IP. Um, you could, like, at least under my ISP, you could just ask them to change it, and they will. So, like, cool. Um, you have to pay extra to keep your IP from not changing, but I guess if you do want it to change... Yeah, no, I, it's, it'd be no trouble with them. Um, maybe I should plug my, my referral code, there you go. Is that a sponsorship if, if you plug your referral code for anything? People, people do it with affiliate links on various websites, although, uh, did you... Some people don't notice that sites like PC Part Picker have affiliate links everywhere. And that's why they don't do, uh, at least in uh, Australia, they don't uh, list the prices of uh, Shopping Express. I've messed it up twice. I've messed it up three times. Even better. There's ridges on the, the Wii Nunchuck, and I still am not, like, quite getting it, so... Advertisement product place... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, advertising is always a weird, a weird place. I guess we, we spoke about Twitch, uh... I, I nearly did, I, I did that in the Mario Galaxy, uh, playthrough as well, where I, I did the, the jump ground pound and sort of, like, my brain just farted on me. 
Listen, it didn't it didn't result in tragedy, so I I would choose to ignore it. I would choose to ignore it. I almost dying is not dying. That's that's the important distinction. <laughs> um so yeah, so I could re redo this. I'm gonna grab some more coins because it'll be funny. Almost dying does not count. Um Yeah, what a... Yeah, advertising is always, like, a, a, a tricky topic, because it's just, like, on the one hand, like, it, there's a place for it, and, and there's a degree of both, both the, crap, the secret star, oh yeah, I need the secret star. Well, <laughs> unless you said, uh, grade the secret star, in which case, yeah, I, I, I grade that one pretty highly. Alright, see you, secret star. The, the real star is like so far near the end. Sorry, the, the secret star is so close to the end of the level. You could you could go the proper way, but you could also just walk past the wigglers who are now I'm angry, and of course encouraging the long jumps. Although it's a bit of a weird planet at the end because it's not like it's not too massive. Like it's pretty big and there's big wigglers, but oh, we've seen just as large planets before. Still. There's a star. There's a fun star. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, nah. Uh, yeah. I, th I think always more information is better than, than less. Uh, a lot of advertisers, um... I still have no idea where the ghost was. The ghost appears, I believe, every time you beat a star with Luigi. But I have no idea how to trigger him right now, so... And I really should have looked it up between streams. Whoops. That's okay. Let's let's pop some of these star bits in the bank. Because he found eight more while I wasn't even looking. That eight will add up. That eight actually might be exactly as much as I need in order to get to 1200. I'm going to save... Oh no, 1300. I'm going to save it until the end though. Which will probably be next turn. <laughs> I'll think about it because it's like... Oh, it's I'm not going to have enough stars, but... Anyway, that's the Supermassive Galaxy. Well, let's go to this one. Flipsville! Flipsville is one that's fun, but I also kind of feel like it's got a bit of an identity crisis. We can't win them all, but... It's got these little, little salamander things with spikes on their back. I love them. They're cute. I want one. Now this one's kind of neat. The whole background points in the direction of gravity. And also it's got new music, so there you go. Wow, lots of coins. Look at him walking about. And the toad is sweating, he's constantly saying, Eh, the thing's back looks so pointy. So what you're supposed to do is you, you ground pound him. He's even got the icon on the zombie side just to really highlight it. But yeah, when you ground pound, you'll notice the arrows in the background change. They didn't have to, like, it's pretty clear what's going on, but it's kind of cool. I like how there's pots and pans, it's like construction warehouse on the top, kitchen on the on the bottom. All the soft bellies look so squishy, oh my gosh. You can hit them pretty late as well, so it's not too bad. What do you have to say, Mr. Toad? Is that our captain? How did he get up there? Nice. Alright, was, was that guy walking over here? There he goes. Get him out of here. Oh! I've done one of these this stream. I feel like I've, I've done a, a bonus section with these enemies. I forgot you to spin them. I got it, I got it, it's cool, it's cool. It didn't take too long. <laughs> uh, and of course, and this is a kind of <laughs> one of the most painfully obvious. Oh, is everything upside down all of a sudden? Like the construction bit is on the underside now? I don't know how that happened, but sure. Oh, I know. Okay, nope, never mind, we're all good. Anyways, fall to the center. And wouldn't you know. What does Captain Toad have to say about being up here? No scary monsters up here, I'm safe for now. Ah, Mara, I was just making sure we're all clear. Ah, so we spotted a monster over there. 
Nice. Now the fun keeps going for a little bit. Oh, I just got it. It's called Flipsville, and these are like suburban buildings. I, I literally just got it. So it's it's suburbia, but everything flips. You're wondering what happens if I hit the chain chomp, aren't you? I'm curious as well. Yeah, that's what happens. I did indeed kill him, but uh, at what cost? Look at that, I hit a little life shroom in there. Oh. A bit of a fun, fun encounter. And the planet keeps going, which is kind of neat, except you really want to watch out. Lots of, lots of chain chomps. And they're rolling about on the inside there. The production line as it is. Get him with the kick. I forgot what was over there. Probably a coin, maybe a one-up. Oh, I missed the platform. So this is kind of neat as well. So, so yeah, all the crazy gravity is triggered by just going through the flip. And this is something where it's like, yeah, I mean, there's platforms here, but you're also having to go through the flip because, like, you know, the spikes on the other side. It's neat. It's good fun. And it kind of leans into this idea that eventually ended up being Mario 3D Land, which is the uh, 3D, but it plays like 2D. Now this, you know, it still plays like Super Mario Galaxy. There's nothing really too weird going about it, but... But, uh... Let's see, let's get this guy, I guess, I assume. Oh. I, I, yeah, I, I saw this grand this, uh, horse side and I said, nah. Nah, you gotta kill the enemies. But no. According to my investigation, you must lure Glamdos are in close. Then Kathwomp. You know what I mean? Wow. Also, Lumily Luma Bop, I've already got the life stream, bro. Okay. Here's a boss that people like to forget about. Seems pretty pretty clear. You go to the underside and wouldn't you know? Big button there. Oof. Now I'm angry! Let's see, how do you fight this guy? Wow! You, you just, you just go there. Are you gonna do it again? Are you just gonna do it twice? Oh! She's spitting straight facts! No, you did- oh! I nearly busted up again, sorry. Are you gonna actually, like, just walk into it? Now I'm really angry! I'm gonna spit him that way! Ooh, you ready? You ready? Ooh, to the other side, and then, and then... Okay, alright, alright, I gotta be a little cheeky now. I gotta be a little cheeky. Oh, that's the other, like, thing to worry about. She fills the holes. That doesn't, that doesn't sound well, is it? Listen, I've got something quite about in every stream. Every stream is a, is a delight. There you go. One more star to add to the history book. The history book, I guess. Hmm. There we go. So yeah, uh, I think I've been smearing VPNs, but just just to note, like a lot of a lot of the reputable ones do as they do on the tin. There's actually nothing like wrong with how they work. Um, but, yeah, the, the important thing is, do you as a consumer need it? A lot of- I always get a little cautious whenever the advertising reaches a lot of places. Like, when everyone's advertising some VPN service, it's like, you know, where do they get all this money? I'm gonna assume just a big influx of users, but sometimes it's investors, sometimes it's stuff. Using an emulator? I am using an emulator, Mr. V3, thank you very much. I'm using uh, pretty much just the latest Dolphin. Um, I run these games usually as stock as possible, so there's nothing, there's nothing too weird going on, and Dolphin, you know, does a tremendous job of looking, looking on point. I feel like maybe if I could do a comparison with colors, 
you might be able to spot some differences um, or with how uh, maybe some of the aliasing is currently working. Big Wiggler's speedrun. Let's see if I can do this level quick and also as Mario. They don't even change the music on this one. Oh, they do. At least we get this music. Do you recommend Dolphin? Yeah, no, Dolphin is great. Um, I'm always, I'm, I'm, I'm such like a, a purist when it comes to like emulating old stuff. So I always would recommend emulators when, you know, when they're absolutely capable, which is usually, uh, but some people would say, oh, how dare you recommend emulators? But it's like, you know, for, for legal reasons, obviously, play games you own. Um, but also just like on a game preservation level, it's like, um, but like, yeah, don't play games that you can definitely get on the live systems, I always find that. Um, I remember a lot of people played uh, Breath of the Wild on the Wii U emulator when the Switch came out, because the game was on the Wii U, because that's when the game came out, and it's just like, come on guys, like, I, I mean, you could just actually buy the Wii U version as well, but, you know, uh, usually when, a, when an emulator is near the, the end of the console's life cycle, uh, it usually gets to that point where I'm like, okay, sure, it's doing pretty alright. But yeah, Dolphin, no, it's it's fermented itself very, very well. It's it runs like a dream. It's got a lot of nice features like a uh, netplay and um, uh, the work they do on the Uber Shade. This is also kind of nice just because that ensures a fair bit of compatibility between computers. Is um, that as well? When you're doing hardware accelerated, you know, rendering, you got to make sure you're, you're getting it quite right. So they seem to be doing a real good job of. Uh, creating the lock. Why yes, I am still going for this despite there being a time limit. It's Starbucks now. You got you got bamboozled, didn't ya? All I gotta do is beat the level in time. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, no, Dolphin, Dolphin is great, uh, I definitely recommend it, it's not 100%, it's not 100% perfect yet, I'm skipping this plan, I, I, I don't trust doing that plan anytime. Alright, I remember the star is all the way at the end there. Uh, let's see if I can I pretty much, you know, force you to have to do these jumps. There's not much time otherwise. Give me the 10 second beat. Uh, but yeah, no, at least for this game, it's it's great. I hear, um, I've tried Metro Prime 3, and that one gets a little performance antsy on, on you, which is not great. It looks the part, but it doesn't quite run the nicest, so, um, yeah, that's why I've, I've, held, I've held off. Um, uh, yes, yes, I do use it anyway. I've been very lazy, and I have not used a real console for any of the games I've played on stream. I own every single one of these games, except that Monsters Inc. game is a uh, kind of lost into whoever stole my disc. Um, but uh, I, also, I never did buy Golden Sun. Someone's gonna yell at me on that one. Um, Clipsville New Digs. Uh, but yeah, no, I I I usually I won't try and play. I I used to play games on emulators in terrible ways on on on. YouTube and stuff, and now it's just like, I try to play, like if I'm using an emulator, I try to make it just as you know, natural as possible. Yes. I know there's some people who would play the game in higher resolution and stuff, and obviously you can find people playing games on Dolphin in full HD. This is a full HD stream of, uh, yeah. of a game that's rendering at like, I don't know how many vertical pixels. We'll just say 640 by 480. You know, the standard progressive scan. Again, turn it on its head. It's now suddenly a dig level rather than a ground pound level. That's kind of neat. You did not see me just actually ground pound instead of instead of gone. Also, we got Mecha Coopers. Everyone likes the Mecha Coopers. Returning from Super Mario World. Yeah. Very, very important. Very important as well. Did you like that, like, Crash Bandicoot 2, like, camera sweep there? Come on. 
I'm not going to bed. Nah. Nah. Pain. Pain and suffering. Oh, hi there. There you go. I'm going to try and do this from, a, from height. There you go. And he's down there. There's a spot we never even went to. Look at that. That's a nice hidden, hidden one up there. Hi there, Mr. Captain Toad. I'm sliding. My brigade bailed on me when they got scared. What happened to bravely exploring the unknown? I'm looking at emulating the old Animal Crossing. Uh, if you're, if you're emulating the very, very oldest Animal Crossing, I mean the Nintendo 64 one, uh, I recommend a uh, parallel. If you recommend, if you're doing the, the uh, GameCube one, or the Wii one for that matter, because it's a two-in-one emulator. Uh, yeah, no, Dolphin's great. I like this little bit. Oh, I got a bit, I got a bit toyed on. Uh, but yeah, no, Dolphin's good. Uh, and if you're doing Wild World, then, uh, uh, Mill and DS actually is a very promising one. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention which one was the one to go through. Dang it, I was not paying attention. At least, at least my little dig holes are there. Uh, I think it was the, the lowest one over here. There you go. Right to the other side. Yeah, yeah. We got fuzzies. Actually, I remember some... Oh, that's why I remember some funky gravity going on here. Sideways coins, sideways coins. That's a fun one up. Uh, other than that, it's a silver star one, but uh, good luck finding where all the where all the stars are. Oh, boy. There you go. That's what I wanted. Or just hitting the hitting the the fuzzy. Here we go. Grab some silver stars. Oh, oh. I'm going down. I will say this this one is just it just happens. You're going you're going through your day's business and suddenly you know, all the gravity's changing on you. Uh, I want to go up. Thank you for the follow, Zen 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 S special edition, the special edition. Oh. I noticed that I couldn't dig right away. Down I go. There you go. Oh, wait, there's one more just below me. And here we go. Silver stars formed together to form one star. I would prefer five stars sometimes. And then I go. What a nice fun level. And yeah! I can't believe it, all this time playing the game, I've, I've only now realized what Flipsville's aesthetic was even trying to be. Listen, <laughs> art designers are crying right now because they're like, oh my gosh, we're putting all this effort here. First grade feels, we finally get the golden star. Oh, dude, I, if I ever became a teacher and I, I still had to mark stuff on paper, I would stick gold stars on it. Students love the gold star. I don't care. I used to have one teacher do scratch and sniff stickers. Like, you don't have to go that overkill. But it, but a star. It's tried and true. It's tried and true. It gets every person feeling... You added one star. It gets every person feeling special. What even is it? The star is just like... You know... It's just... It's a warming shape. And I guess stars are warming, but... You know... They're not that shape. Nonetheless, uh, you've got a... What's the term? Sun flare? Yeah. Did someone say another B level? We got the Honey Hop Galaxy. Not the Honey Bloom Galaxy, but the Honey Hop Galaxy with the sweetest silver stars. Would you look at that star? That, that is a star, and <laughs> there she is, returning, returning once again. Uh, solid condensed energy, yeah. A stars? Yes. Well, I guess some stars are solid, but uh, well, this our, our star is a big ball of gas. The gas is dense enough, and it brings it all together, but 
it's technically a guess. I don't know where all my stuff is. I think I feathered A for a moment. Come a bit, wasn't it? Sticky honeycomb, yum! You should really do something a bit more hygienic. Other than that, it's another B level, basically. It's kind of more of the same from what the first game is. A bit of a, a 2D twist to it, but... If anything, this reminds me a little bit of a Freeze Flame Galaxy. I don't know, you got these open bits with the water. Uh, remember as well, touch the water and your bee dies. Good thing I didn't touch the water. Now I'm gonna get to me all the stuff. And remember the spin is different as the bee. I'm a god. No, I, I gotta stop it. Never mind. Alright, we had to lose at some point. We had to we had to lose my streak of getting No Mario, you couldn't Super Mario Galaxy we can't touch grass. Mario, Mario Galaxy we can't touch water. There you go. Now just remember as well, if you're gonna be a cheeky beaky. Just remember. You can't always be a cheeky beaky. They got you, they got you a big one out there. So here we go. Grab the B. Now I'm trying to think, is there another service that gets like advertised a lot in just anything? And it's just like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I I know I'm gonna say like when when people go not to get political. The the Australian election, the federal election is uh, this Saturday coming up. Uh, by the way, every Australian, make sure that you vote, because you're legally required to. This is not, this is not a, a promotion thing. I was gonna say, um, I'm gonna be glad when all the political ads are gone, because, oh boy, there's so many of them in Australia. It gets so bad. You know what sucks? You can't stand on the clouds as a regular Mario. You gotta be the bee. At least they put the... Anything, uh... Yeah, at the very least, uh, American politics are crazy. Like, uh, I, 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 I mentioned a, uh, a, a very negative news cycle. I'm just going to say, oh my gosh, the number of people using this to their advantage. Like, these man, American politics is a crazy world. I was gonna say you could probably use this flower to like get, okay, so not to get, yeah. Taking part in this option. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, um, true. Yes, you also, you do have to vote along, along with your party. Um, if, if you're not, if you're not with them, you're against them. That's the, that's the saying, isn't it? Um, but yeah, nah, like, like, politics gets crazy. Australian politics, it's just, it's noisy. I'll just say that. Like, there's not really too much going on with it. But anytime you hear it, it's like... Does this really mean anything? I always find like Australian politicians, it's like, man, a lot of air. And that's okay, because a lot of air doesn't doesn't bother me too much. Oh, I got wet. So. But yeah, no, I, that, <laughs> that, that, that just came into my head, because it's like, oh yeah, advertising. The good thing is Australia usually tends to deal with their own stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty uh, focused on that. Um, the US has a lot of... Um, foreign policy they got to deal with, whereas, at least in Australia's case, like, I don't know, it just doesn't come up too often. And I <laughs> love how that metal is just hiding all the way there. There we go. Whoop. Whoop, down I go. Yeah, that, that is the last one. US is always... Yeah, 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 that's definitely, that's a view that I hear a lot of people have. Um, where it's just like, yeah, they're, they're involved so many places, and it's, I guess it's a, it's a tough thing with being a superpower, because you got that, like, maybe if, maybe if you lived in Russia, it would also be a similar thing, because Russia, um, you know, have a lot of relationships out there. You can afford to spend 700 billion on mili military, but not healthcare. Military is a weird one, because, like, I never know how to feel about it. You spend a, a, a metric butt ton, but also, like, you know, if you're not spending the most, someone else is. And in military, 
I can understand that being scary, but yeah. A lot of that is research. A lot of that is research. So, yeah. Here I am, in the little engine room, yet again. I was gonna say, I saw a tweet of people going like, if you don't disavow people who I don't like, then, uh, then, uh, or like, on your streams, then, you know, you're not doing a good job. And I'm just like, I don't know, this is like the only time I think I've ever talked about politics on stream. I'm kinda like, I'm such a fence sitter. Everyone would hate me on politics. What's that, a striped mushroom? I've never seen one of those before. You, uh, yeah, have fun with your unusual toy there. I ain't judging. Oh, come on, come on. He says it himself. I, I just read it out loud. I didn't even, I didn't even say anything. Also, just while I'm back at it. The bee might, uh, it'd be fuzzy. It would taste like a bee. It wouldn't sting you, but it would be kind of weird. There's a couple of spots left, but I, th I thought he was going to say something fancy. Oh, well. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit weird. Protein? Yeah, it would be protein. I wonder how much protein is in a bee. There's more surface area though, the smaller they are, so it's not as fun. Here we go, Flipsol. Oh, especially a bee. A bees are very rigid. Flipsol Comet! Mario Head Planet. Oh yeah, the face ship! They turn into a level in Fortune Street on the, on the Wii. Purple Coin Spin Speed Run! Everyone likes purple coins. We hid a lot of purple coins in here. I think there are exactly a hundred as well, so you got to do your best. But at least they send you straight to it. You're not like, you're not just doing it for the level. I love how there's the, uh, the checkpoint flag as well in the middle there. Alright. Whoop. Funny because I, uh, I had played most of Nintendo games with not Mario Galaxy. That's yeah. I like. I'm glad I did play Mario Galaxy, but I actually I never played Sunshine um, as a kid. I played 64 on the DS. I never had a Nintendo 64 growing up, but the the DS one is um, as faithful as uh, well. It's not it's not particularly the most faithful, but I'd say the spirit is there. I played regular Mario 64 too much. Hey, did you see that pro move right there? Smash Bros. Brawl is fun. Smash Bros. Brawl is great fun. People, people uh, always rag on it for being slower than um, pretty much any of the rest, and I'm just like, nah, man. Like every every game is its own beast, and they're all a little bit different and fun in their own ways. Um, I was gonna say though, as tangentially, uh, if anyone's noticed, uh, the Nickelodeon. Uh, All-Stars fighting game, the Smash clone. Uh, they announced a DLC pack, a Fighter's Pass, uh, and, uh, it's got, a uh, The... I, I never watched My Life as a Teenage Robot, but, uh, that character, uh, is out now, and the pass also includes, um, Jimmy Neutron's dad, which is the most hilarious thing, and then I think there's... I think you play... you can play as Rocco. Which is also good. I really appreciate them, like, still supporting that game. They're absolute legends, the people who work on that. Like, yeah, you can you can make a licensed game. And a lot of licensed games out there, like, are kind of bottom of the barrel. I really like the licensed games that try to, like, you know, be fun with the fact that it's just a bunch of cartoon characters. So many of them, like, try and play it, like, too seriously. Or they don't, um, they don't really explore stuff. They kind of just rehash the show. Um, so yeah. Alright, I've got... Let's do it! Or let's, let's go into the ship. Um, I was gonna say, like, I've got two two stars left for the stream. And wouldn't you know, I love this galaxy. People hate it! I love it! People ignore it! Starshine, beach galaxy, surf, sand, and silver stars. This galaxy is one big bowl. And people say this game has no open levels. But here we are, World 4. Yes. I'm kidding, we're on a little tiny planet. I love this, like, view up here, though, because you get to, to see the, the planet down below. It's still going. This, this level is great. And, wouldn't you know, my cursor 
really didn't like Shining Man. I gotta figure out what's going on with the castle. Maybe it's batteries. And there's Piantas while we're at it. Well, I'm a chuckster. When I woke up this morning, I saw all these silver things all over the islands. So, war levels and more guests too. Dude, I, if there's one thing, like, they did amazing. Like, making people not hate water levels. Now here's Yoshi, he's so happy. He can walk in water, don't worry. Oh, oh gosh, my computer's having a moment. Sorry. Had a, had a gamer moment. That's the problem with an emulator. It was me, it wasn't you, it was me. It was Lakitu's. Please, you can just wander around. There's so much to see and do here. Even though I wish there was some physically extruding grass here, because this looks like a very noisy green texture. You can shake your head and it shines leaves, but <laughs> the actual texture itself, not as much. This wood looks fine. Looks good. Now also, Yoshi can swim on the surface. Yoshi cannot swim under the surface, I think. You know what I like about these little bonus bits? I'm kind of like rediscovering a, a, a mechanic like every single time. I forgot about spitting the crabs as, as boomerangs. Because they come back. They come back at you. Oh. Probably a bit of an easier one to get the lives on though. Uh, so let's uh, let's give the Yoshi theory a, a go, but I'm pretty sure he can't he can't swim. Nah, he can't. But he can jump, so that's nice of him. Yeah, nah, this galaxy is great. Now we've also got the hot step chili pepper, which you can use to be Jesus. You can just go. It's here specifically just to get one of these uh, one of these things. Now this this uh, this little bit's kind of interesting. It's like a little planet. What you got to do is uh, you got to step over here and basically roll the planet over. It's not it's not really a planet, but roll it over so you can bounce on the thing, and hopefully it's not pointing too far away from you. Wouldn't you know? You got to do some camera adjustment. You got to do all this all this stuff. I think, yeah, the one weird common criticism with this game is that, like, it's too linear, but then we'll completely ignore this level, and also how linear was Galaxy 1, like, these games are linear, it's no secret, but I feel like it's one where, like, just because a place is open doesn't necessarily mean it's actually, like, deep, and even, like, deep when you feel it. If anything, a, I, I'm a little bit mixed on maybe uh, some of the levels in, uh, say, Mario 64. Where it's like, yeah, I mean, you can do whatever style you want, but like some of them are... That's pain. I, I'm not doing a good job. My, my hand-eye coordination is completely off today on my left hand. Maybe I'm just sitting in my chair funny. It's cutting circulation in my brain, something like that. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick this. Get him! Oh, wait, wait, once more with feeling, there you go, look at that, fruit number two, up goes Yoshi, into space, they'll never find him, you ever like had a helium balloon and you like, like dropped it and it just went into space? Look, where do they go? I, I, I know exactly where they go, it's, you know, obviously the, the density inside the, inside the balloon matches the density of the, you know, surrounding space, the further up you go, because the air is thinner, and, uh, therefore, that the balloon reaches some kind of equilibrium, uh, and I think often it pops, or, you know, just kind of deflates, because suddenly it's, I don't know, they're not always the, the uh, most secure. I always had a fear as a kid of like holding too many balloons. I'm glad like someone has legit tested that like yeah it takes so many balloons to do that like hundreds. You can, you can do it after hundreds of balloons, but not from one. Uh, so let's get the, the spiny 
It's gonna be some spinies. I, I, would, I would like to. Ah! Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi! No! Ah, stop it, we're using the crab. We're using the crab. Yoshi is so happy, I love him. That was a bit of a weak, like, glass break, wasn't it? Dude, Mario sits so far on the end of Yoshi there. Wow, the star could not have come at a bit of a closest point. Also, someone will yell at me because no Comet Metal. It's the first star, you gotta do it. So, I assume it's in that water bit there. And I just never went to get it. Because I never hopped off Yoshi. I'm sorry, Yoshi. You were good. Maybe even the best. Look at this Pianta, look at him go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Why don't you take a star with you? Oh, there's bloopers in the water. I hate bloopers. So yeah, you may be wondering, what's down here? Well, there's a life. There's a lot of these sea urchins. You know, the scary sea urchins. No one likes the sea urchins. We've got a clam. Uh, but very importantly, there's a little tunnel here. And I believe it's in this tunnel. There it is. Yeah. You gotta look out for a little bit, but it's there. Also, hi there, eels. How you doing? I always keep forgetting. Um, I always, like, have this, like, uh, thought of, like, oh, like, uh, an underwater level. And it's, like, filled with all these caves that have eels that come out of them. And it's, like, that's, like, one bit in Majora's Mask, if anyone remembers that one bit. It's right after the, um, the fish maze. But yeah. No, Majora's Mask is, like, a... A fever dream of a game, I'll tell you that. Well, there you go. One more star under the belt. Are we gonna ruin it with a comet? We're ruining it with a comet. No, we're not. We're not ruining it with a comet. <laughs> Alright, you will be pleased to know I will grab this second star. Uh, just before the end of the stream. Here we go, climbing the cloudy tower. So again, again, like, it seems to be a pattern now that I'm really pointing it out, but a lot of these second stars end up being the same level at first, but with a different item, and playing the, the level in a fairly different way with that different item. So we got the same start going on. I love the, the water dripping down, but I don't know, man. It's, a, it's the same planet. It ain't losing its water. So we come down here, and, and we got the pianos going on about. And we're holding our strongest piano tournament, so everyone is busy looking burly. Evo! And I'm a chuckster! <laughs> At least I throw you up. At least they're consistent, they're not walking around and asking you to press A on them at a very weird time. I swear. Sunshine, people will love. I hate how sloppy some of the levels can get. That's like a... It's a hot take, apparently. Also, uh... I think I've got the whole game without a... Ah. Oh. Whoop. Stop at some point, or like I'm not, I'm not having a fun time getting them done. Uh, but yeah, no, there's a lot of like kind of sloppy levels in in Mario Sunshine, so I'm glad that for Super Mario Galaxy, you know, there's really not that much slop. And then I feel like Galaxy 2 is really like clean with how it all works. So. Uh, so what are we looking for exactly? Let's go up to the top there. We got bubbles all over the place. That's usually a tell. Isn't there these footprints last a really long time as well? Like they're only just now like expiring just here. That's a really long set of footprints. Let's do this! Ah! Oh, cool. 
opened my own leaf raft shop. Today is the grand opening, so feel free to ride all you want. Now this is a kind of cool mechanic as well. So these little lily pads, little rafts, and you can just walk into the edge of it and it'll ride you across. They might have been in the last level, I wasn't looking. They bounce off these little scuttle bugs. Scuttle bugs? Are they actually the scuttle bugs from 64? Maybe. Can I be the one guy who complains about the name of Mario 64? Super Mario for the 64. Alright, alright, alright. I gotta I gotta redeem this one as well. I'm just complaining about everything, so let's how about let's focus on the good. I like this game. And I like Mario 64. And I enjoyed Sunshine. I, I, I don't think I'd put Sunshine as much in my top tier list, but it's definitely a fine game and worth a play. I'm too good. First try. First try. <laughs> Alright, uh, where am I going? I, I guess it's here, I guess it's here. The big tall tower now has a bunch of clouds surrounding it. Do these things activate when I'm near them, or...? What is this guy thinking? Hey, is there something sparkling way up there in the clouds? Are you... What are you, what are you doing? Well, I now have 69 coins, so that was worthwhile. Oh, and away I go. Okay, well. And where is the cloud? That's the, that's the mystery. A lot of coins, though, I'll tell you that. Uh... Yeah, actually, where's the cloud? That's a... There's a mystery. Well, I guess I could check the underwater again. Maybe they did something with this building, you know? Yeah, it looks like the door's open this time. Yeah, there it is. It's got coins. They've opened the door for ya. There you go. I could probably legitimately get 100 coins if I'm really scouting around. I wonder if this is the level where you can get the most coins. Someone's probably done that as a challenge. So up the top, hit the button. And wouldn't you know, there it is, the cloud mushroom. Cloud flower? No, it's a flower. It's not a mushroom, it's a flower. So here's the catch. Uh, you pick up the cloud, you lose the cloud when you touch water. Uh, you gotta get all the way over there. Preferably with more clouds, but you can use a little, little lily pad. Lily pad wrap. Very fun. I think they only even appear in this level. They just go. Now the bubbles are also off limits, so gotta watch out for that. Alright, here we go, here we go. Up the top, use the cloud, and there we go. Nah, this guy, this galaxy is great. Even if it is kind of just like the one big planet, it's it's nice fun. Just like you know, here's a here's a relaxed, chill water level. But we also play around with the Yoshi power ups. We got both the hot pepper and the and the um the balloon one, as well as then you know playing around with the cloud mushroom. And I feel like yeah, there's been a handful of levels just this stream that's. Just shown off that mechanic of just same same idea, but different execution. It's great fun. Would you look at that? Try to stay grounded, ha ha. He says. All right, we're gonna get another one up. Another pointless one up. Done. Something I can invest in. That's not Luna. Rip anyone, by the way. If you, if you have been focusing on crypto, oh boy, I thought <laughs> I. I can't believe I didn't even mention that one. Um, if anyone's been following crypto, uh, Luna is a now basically dead crypto. It lost so much value because it was printed a lot. Like I can end up here without needing the uh, the Yoshi. I'm trying to figure out where the where is the cloud like going to get you normally? 
or rather, like, what what is on the face ship that actually does require the cloud? I think they've kind of just given you the cloud for funsies. I can't think of anything. Oh well. Let's donate these star bits, and then do a bit of a recap. I'll be working hard. Oh, he's found eight more! Oh, the, to the toad found me in the middle of his walk cycle. There we go, 1721. Alright, so just to recap, uh, what, uh, what I showed off the stream, because we've hit 60, 60 stars, halfway through the game, cough cough, uh, so, yeah, at the end of the last stream I had done these first three levels of World 3, uh, I had also continued on, we did Freezy Flake, we did the Rolling Masterpiece Galaxy, and the Beat Block, as well as also Fort, uh, Mega, uh, whatever it was called, the one with the boobs, yes. And then, I went on, uh, and we've, we saw the Supermassive Galaxy, the Flipsville, Honey Hop, and, uh, the Starshine Beach, as well as also a bunch of comets all over the place, and including a little bit of a rematch race with Fluzzard. Lots of exciting stuff, lots of cool things. Uh, this is only halfway through the game, so don't worry, there's still plenty of stuff left, uh, for later streams. But yeah, for this stream, you're right, Lord Blub, it is time for a bit of a nap. 2 p.m. is sick. Oh yeah, dude, definitely. If you're sick, a good rest is all you need. And uh, I feel like it's 10:20 p.m. near me, so it's a little bit less of a sleep. So with that, I would like to thank you all so very, very much for watching. And yeah, if you did enjoy this stream, you can follow uh, where I will stream this time in 168 hours. Uh, just listening is always good. Uh, so yeah, um, and yeah, you can subscribe on YouTube, the VODs will be there, but there's nothing really too much, just, you know, the stream, stream's going there, the VODs are going there, maybe there'll be something, I got no plans yet, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, nah, it's, uh, middle of the May, got hot again, I swear, so, but yeah, nah, uh, yeah, if, if, uh, the news is getting you down, if uh, your fam favorite politician didn't win, just remember, things resolve themselves over time. You don't have to pay attention to social media all the time. You can, you can keep, stay chill, listen to some vibes, so stay well, sleep tight, eat your greens, uh, and uh, drink your milk. Some people are lactose intolerant, so I don't know if you can always do that. So, Anyways, have a good one everyone.